We got Billy Ray Brown out on the golf course, and he is with this match Adrian Dumont de Sarsart and Frederick Ketterick. And that from Adrian there. That was from 111 yards in control this match right now at three up. Now back over to the second, and Florida State's Frederick Ketterick ready to play. With this from 104 yards, and now with Deschart in there close. Mmm, that's pretty spicy there. Two. Nicely done. This was earlier at the ninth. Arizona State's Riggs Johnston playing a second three down in his match. Yeah, needs a good one here at the ninth. Left hole location and dialed it up perfectly. And he'd go on to win that hole. Just hit a pearl. I'm going to win this hole with a two. But this is what you love about match play. Connor Howe answers right on top of him. Matisse Bessard's tee shot at the par three fifth. This match tied through 13 holes. 201 yards today. When you talk about bouncing back after messing up that pitch shot on the last hole. Yeah, it'd make it over to eight. Summer Hayes with that one up lead. T shot at the par three. Only playing 146 yards today there, Steve. So you pretty much take dead aim. T box is up two decks. Oh, There's look at this shot beautiful by little Preston. Uses that ridge. That's good. <laughs> yeah, where this hole is located, it's down a ridge from the angle in which Pat Patel's hitting from. He's going to have to land it on top of that ridge. He was really trying to get that right hand flipped under that. There it is, feeding down. Cut that pretty good. Nicely and... done. A moment ago, Ben James of Virginia, five down, his tee shot at 13. Castillo is in tight. Needs a good one here, being five down. Talented freshman. And he answers the call. About 30 steps, got a couple different ways to play in it. You could kind of let it release or fly it all the way to the hole, but this screen's been firm. Yeah, just beyond this hole, it gets down in that collection area. Really, really well done. Exceptional. Adrian Dumont de Chassart from Illinois to win the match, get a second point for the Illini. And he does just that. Illinois four, Florida State five, Illinois wins the match. We're back at the par three, eighth, Luke Clanton from Florida State with a one-up lead. Yeah, 146 yards in a hole location that's very accessible down in that front right bowl. Yeah, we've seen a number of tee shots close here, Billy Ray. Just like this, gonna use one of those ridges. And this little bunker shot for Buchanan. Sits on the upslope, very, very simple. There's the ridge to the right to funnel the ball down to the hole. Don't be surprised here if this ball takes a good look at it. Sitting on the upslope just a little bit. Firm sand. Had the good audio. Yes. How about that? Great call, everybody. Great call. How about that by Jackson Buchanan? Probably after hitting the worst shot he's hit all week. Follows it up with a clutch bunker shot. Clanton can only smile. <laughs> it had the audio. If they happen to find a way to move on, that <laughs> shot might have just saved their season. I mean, had it on the upslope. We have to keep that speed up. Had great audio, great contact. Give it a run. What a performance by the freshman, Luke Clanton, for Florida State. And they have defeated Illinois 3 to 2 as Clanton wins his match one up. And Florida State has earned an invitation to this fall's East Lake Cup. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well played.
This a moment ago is T shot at eight. Troy already on the green. 146 yards. Being two down, has to take dead aim and right off the bridge there. And what a nice golf shot. Trying to close things out right here with a birdie of his own. Now it goes downhill, moves a little bit left to right. To win the match. Sam Choi. How about that? Throw up another point for Pepperdine. The club face wide open, but his short game's been really solid. Similar spot earlier, Yoshin Lin had a real nice shot in there, just a couple of feet underneath underneath the hole. I look for him to hit this within five feet, but he's got it wide open, so he's going to carry it a little further. I thought it might go low with this one, but... Got to keep that speed up. He got the speed, won't spin. Slid the club underneath the ball. Very nice. Pretty nice. David Ford has this putt for birdie to win the 17th and go one up. And he pours that in, so he drives the green. Two putt birdie for Ford. Carolina needs just one point to advance. Back to nine. And coming off the upslope, pretty straightforward little pitch here. Yeah, has to be caught perfectly, a little check. Really slow going mm. up there, but that was a real nice golf shot. Right to left is a great look at it. What a tee shot he hit in here. Does tend, tends to stay to the right, but buries it right in the center. So he's won three of the last four. What a performance by Ford and Fountain down the stretch. As I said, got a fantastic read from the putt of Nieves. Got a great preview, knows exactly what it's going to do. It's just a matter of hitting your spot. Four previous match plays for Georgia Tech. They have only won in the quarterfinals once. That was back in 2013. This putt goes in. They advance. Yeah. And Hiroshi Tai has punched Georgia Tech's ticket to this afternoon's semifinals. What a battle. What a, what a match back and forth. Very few holes tied. Clutch up and down there for Hiroshi Tai at the ninth. Clutch putt there. Just watching it go down that line and calmly just knocks it right in the center. And he got the read as the teammates. Yeah. 